How do we diagnose heart disease in cats? Now, actually, I already answered this person's question, but it's such a good question that I figured I'd make a video so I could share it with the whole world because diagnosing heart disease in cats can be a little bit tricky and it's very easy to miss, sometimes at literally no fault of the veterinarian. So let's dive into it. <laughs> When it boils down to it, there's only one true way to actually diagnose heart disease in cats, but there's three other things that we can use to aid in our diagnosis, and sometimes we only need a combination of the last three if we don't have a cardiologist present, but let's get into the list. The only surefire way to diagnose heart disease in cats is with an echocardiogram, and this is also the only way to diagnose which heart disease a cat might have. And this is very different than x-rays, and even though x-rays can help us if the heart's big in size, cats can have heart disease without having a big heart on x-rays. Ideally, the echocardiogram would be performed by a board-certified cardiologist, but that said, those of us ER vets and primary care vets that have been around the block a few times are absolutely comfortable diagnosing things like HCM and DCM with a bedside ultrasound, but a cardiologist is still the best option. The second test we can use is a blood test called an nt pro BNP, and this is actually such a great screening tool that a lot of family veterinarians are starting to include this test on their routine screening panels for cats, even if we don't hear anything on an exam. Exam. And the NT-ProBMP can either be what we call a SNAP test, which gives us a positive or negative answer, or it can be a quantitative test, which gives us a legitimate number. And if that number is above 270, there is a 90% chance that that cat has true underlying heart disease. Now, even though the quantitative test is better, the SNAP test absolutely provides benefit in clinical situations. And the third test we can use to help diagnose heart disease in cats are good old fashioned x-rays. And even though at the beginning of the video, I said that x-rays are not the best diagnostic to help diagnose heart disease in cats, they can be beneficial if the hearts are Pretty big in size or if we're looking for evidence of congestive heart failure, in which case x-rays can be very beneficial. And the last thing we can do to help aid in our diagnosis of heart disease in cats is listening to the cat's heart with our stethoscope. And the two things that we hear that make us suspicious of heart disease is either a heart murmur, which sounds like a whooshing sound between the lub and dub of a heartbeat, so lub, psh, dub, lub, psh, dub, or a gallop sound, which instead of the heart sounding like the bum bum, bum bum, it sounds like a horse galloping, ba da da, ba da da. But it up. And now this is where things become a little bit tricky because 70% of cats with a low grade murmur don't actually have underlying heart disease and 3% of cats that have heart disease don't have any underlying murmur. And I've absolutely diagnosed cats in horrible end stage congestive heart failure that did not have a detectable murmur. Now if the cat has a higher grade murmur or a gallop sound, that's much more indicative of them having actual underlying heart disease. But at the end of the day, cats are weird aliens on this planet that do whatever the hell they want. 